Welcome back to Afternoon Express. I hope that you're having a glorious Monday afternoon. Now, the fourth week of the next brand ambassador has seen its panel of judges, Odette Van Haar, Sylvester Chauke, and Nandi Madida, select the finest that South Africa has to offer the world of marketing and branding by choosing the national top 12 from the regions of Johannesburg, Durban, and Cape Town. Half the spots were gained to Johannesburg contestants, and it was Durban and Cape Town who collected, collectively filled out the last six spots in the national or in the national top 12 so if you've got any questions for these amazing contestants please do leave a comment and don't forget to use the hashtag afternoon express guys welcome to the loft thank, thank you, you for having us and well done for making it this far how does it feel <laughs> no breaking it feels <laughs> amazing it yeah. feels amazing yeah. um personally i'm very proud of myself yeah um, you should yeah. be yeah. Yeah. how's it changed any of your lives so far oh my goodness every from learning from the judges and yeah. the challenges that we're getting. Yeah. Um, it has changed a lot, especially when it comes to knowledge and growing as a person yeah. and as a brand. I've learned mm. so much in those in these weeks. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's actually good because you, you get to learn about yourself as well because there's things that you, you think you know, but when you throw in a space like this, then you discover that I actually don't know um, as to certain things. Yeah. yeah. That's actually an amazing point mm. because sometimes you don't know how you're going to react in situations yeah. mm. and you don't know if you're going to handle it well or not. Yeah. Like sometimes, but you, that's, I suppose, how you get to identify your strengths and your mm. weaknesses. Yeah. Yeah. So the judges are outstanding. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell you, she's so spicy, but if you're going to learn from anyone, it's going to be her. Yes. And of course, yeah. Sylvester, I mean, yeah, he's just amazing. incredible. He's yeah. done so much of his life. What is the biggest lesson that you've learned from the judges? How have they helped you in this competition? I think it's being able to look at your product and be able to identify what went wrong, mm. you know, yeah. and that's a difficult thing to do. Mm. Mm. Um, but when you are, say, in the losing team or when the judges are really questioning you, you should be able to say, you know what? We went wrong here, exactly. and we went right here. Mm. And, and that's a, a beautiful lesson to learn. And yeah. for the rest of you, any Personally, any? for me, I'm a very dramatic person. I'm always <laughs> causing <laughs> obstruction. <laughs> we can tell. <laughs> always <laughs> causing obstruction. <laughs> but they've, they've taught me how to channel it directly yeah. and mm. where to use it. So it's really been a life-changing experience. Amazing. Mm. And also, the other thing that I think we've all learned is to pay attention to details, especially yes. when it works <laughs> with the press, yeah. because mm. there's a lot of money thrown into these things to actually make the brand look good. Yeah. So so if you're know, going to miss the brief and do what you think is good for the client and not what actually the client wants, then um, you're going to have face problems. Yeah. So, yeah. so I think when, when something goes well, it goes really well. Yeah. <laughs> 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 My heart broke for you. Let's have a look at this little moment. <laughs> the search is on for the next brand ambassador. After an outstanding number of entries, I'm the only one who notices Nash saying outstanding in the place of the word astounding. It's not outstanding, it's astounding. Astounding, yeah. astounding number of After entries. After an astounding. Astounding. Yeah, that's what it's written even. Can anybody tell me what astounding is? You do keep saying outstanding, outstanding instead of astounding. After an astounding number of entries. <laughs> I'm just going to say outstanding. Outstanding number of entries. I cannot believe we spent so much time with outstanding or outstanding or I don't even know what it is. After an astounding number of entries, one text message can change it all. Astounding. I now know how to say astounding because Dan just wouldn't stop. I'm Kosa. Certain words I can't say. It's not the mother of my tongue. <laughs> oh my god, that was outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> but can I tell you, I do a lot of voiceovers and you can't hear yourself sometimes. Mm. So no, that's when you need to rely on a really good director and mm. experience. Ach, and you know what? In life, you must be able to laugh at yourself. Exactly. Yeah. And we created amazing TV with outstanding. Exactly. So yeah. Yeah. It is exactly. <laughs> And I think, you know, because obviously watching the show and enjoying it, mm. but also knowing what's going on behind the mm. scenes, yeah. you guys are, are working so hard behind mm. the scenes. Mm. It's really, really grueling. Mm. What happened with the billboard shoot? <laughs> Give us details. <laughs> <laughs> there were so like many like spices <laughs> in the biryani. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it was, it, was, it was really an amazing experience. But firstly, it was so much drama. Yeah. I think... Um, I was talking too much, basically a lot, but I've <laughs> learned from that, so yeah. But we, we actually didn't fail too much on it, but yeah. yeah. 
I didn't think you did too badly. Yeah, what is it like bad. when you watch yourself on TV? I mean, some of you have like cringe moments. <laughs> I did. <They're> dying. Dying. <laughs> I definitely had a cringe moment because one, I've never been on TV, never yeah. heard myself speak on TV. Mm. So it's like, girl, just get it right. Just yeah. get it right. Mm. Yeah. And the other thing is, uh, I think personal for me is about diaries. I think I can always go you. back and narrate the story much better. Yeah. Uh, when I see myself on TV, they're not like, what was that? Yeah. yeah. What was I thinking that <laughs> yeah, moment when I said that? Yeah. yeah. Then the Cape Town house is absolutely glorious. Oh, what is it like all living together? What a gorgeous house. It's for those of you who haven't watched the, the show, describe it for us. I love it. <laughs> I want my bed. Say, if I must say, it looks like a top building house. <laughs> <laughs> Something out of a magazine. You know, we didn't expect to have like this beautiful house. You mm. come in there, you're like, oh, we're going to stay in a guest house. But when you get there, you're like, what? That's really beautiful. Nice, yeah. Yeah. And it's very quite nice. spacious, which mm. is really yes. important. Like, yeah. if you're in your space and you're in your room, then mm. that's where you are. Yeah. Yeah. And you can just take time out, because yeah. this can be quite emotionally, mm. you know, draining and, and challenging. Yeah. Yeah. So it's great that it's a spacious house and it's beautiful. Mm. Yeah. And are you finding any space for personal relationships between each other, like friendships, <laughs> or is it? And look at you. this competition. Oh, no. Really? You can never trust. Anyone. The next yeah. day, the same you, person you thought was your friend is and they like on mm. set that is so hardcore. Yeah. And Odette's like, always I would find I would struggle working in an environment where you can't trust the people. Mm. Okay, but Odette? Uh, I was gonna say Odette always has a question, who would you send who? home? Oh. Yeah. And the person that you think is your friend who's like a fever and like, how <laughs> dare you? <laughs> You're my friend. <laughs> I think what's generally happening is we're struggling to uh, merge the two, the professional side of the yeah. relationships mm. and the personal, because we are people. Yeah. And at the end of the day, you're going to vibe with someone or have yeah. a genuine connection, but at mm. the end of the day, they're your competition. Yeah. So yeah. you can only be yourself to a certain degree extent. that you yeah. don't actually make yourself vulnerable because this person is competition. Mm. But you know what the problem is? I would like the person who is the, who is the one that I think would probably win, and then you think, oh, but if I keep them in, then I'm not going to work with them. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's quite conflicting. Mm. It is. Yeah, it but is. it's a great thing that yeah. we don't get to choose who, who stays yeah. and who goes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Which sort of like, you know, limits Yet. the pressure a little For bit. For now. <laughs> <laughs> but when the time comes, they throw you back on the bus and be like, exactly. that one deserves to go home. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, well, thank you so much for creating such a fantastic show. We really are enjoying watching you and we're rooting for you guys. Thank Remember, Joe Berg is killing this, so you guys. You do it the best time of Not for long. The competition is most certainly on now. We've asked you on our socials if you've got any questions for the next brand ambassador contestants. And we've got Uno Monde who says, have you, what have you learned about yourself since you started the competition? Mm. Mm. I, Tough one. Uh, <laughs> I've learned that it's quite important for me to stop self-doubting because I think mm. I've found that in as much as I'm very confident, I'm very sure of myself, but because you're surrounded with so many other individuals who mm. are equally mm. that, it's so easy to be in your head a yeah. lot. Yeah. I think for me, it's mostly to listen mm. because we have so many different people with so many yeah. different personalities. Mm. So if you don't really listen to each other, then there's really no room for growth. Yeah, I so that. I think that's what I learned personally, like listening to other people mm. and giving them that space yeah. to kind of give you something to work with. Yeah, I think any one of you could walk into a marketing job and do a great job Absolutely. already. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, I am definitely sold. We've got Thank a comment you. and a question here by Unomboso who says, First of all, I want to say hi to Umtasekaya Unasipi. And I would like to know what role will the winner play? What role would the winner play? So in this competition, you get the opportunity to work for the amazing Capitec Bank um, as part of their marketing team, which mm. is such an exciting opportunity because yeah. Capitec is such a fantastic brand. So that's what we are all Compe trying yeah. to compete yeah. for. Yeah. yeah. Oh, guys, good luck. It's going to be so such a tough decision to choose just mm. three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so many of us. Thank you very much for being here today. Thank you.